Hey, hey, Harpers and lovers of steel guitar. This is your pal Bill McCloskey coming back at you to talk to you about learning how to play steel guitar in your retirement. Uh, you know, the great thing about uh, playing steel guitar in retirement is that there doesn't have to be any real goals. You don't have to worry about a career. You don't have to set yourself up as the hottest player in town. Just sitting in your room, in your studio, uh, playing music, recording music, sending music to your friends, putting it up on YouTube, or just playing for the fun of it is is really the goal, is just to really have fun. Playing steel guitar is very much a meditative experience. You get lost in that sort of transcendent st- sound of the, of the pedal steel or the regular steel guitar, either one. Um, we're going to talk today about the four things, four things that you need to think about uh, as you go down this steel guitar journey. And the number, the first thing you need to ask yourself is, do you want to play an acoustic instrument or do you want to play an electric instrument? Uh, if you're going to talk about playing a acoustic instrument, that would be something like a dobro or a resonator guitar. Uh, the sound of Jerry Douglas and that very nice Americana type acoustic sound that you hear in the soundtracks to millions of television shows and movies, that's a dobro. It's also, dobro is also used, of course, heavily in bluegrass. Uh, it creates that fast uh, hammer-on sound that uh, Jerry Douglas and Rob Ikes are so famous for. Um, the other form of acoustic steel guitar is a Weissenborn, which is a much sort of more delicate instrument, uh, softer sounding, used to play Hawaiian music, uh, usually used in a solo context or needs to be mic'd or amplified in some way because it's a very quiet instrument. So that's the acoustic side of things, pretty much. And the electric side of things is uh, where we get into things like the lap steel and the pedal steel, and that's really going to be the focus of what I'm going to be showing you um, in this particular channel. After you've decided whether you want to be acoustic or electric, the next big step, of course, is to figure out what tuning you're going to put this guitar on. Um, and we actually have to decide that before we decide what how many strings we want, because most of these tunings can be played on any number of strings, um, in, including just a simple six-string guitar. So the first thing you want to think about in tuning, as far as tuning, is you can go... Um, if you're really interested in that David Lindley like blues rock uh, sound, uh, you know, a, an open D tuning or an open E tuning uh, on a six string uh, lap steel is sort of the sweet spot for that kind of playing. Um, but if you want something that's a little bit more harmonically interesting, uh, if you're doing more country stuff, if you're doing more jazz stuff, certainly, uh, or you just want to have more harmonic possibilities, um, then you need to get into something that has uh, more options as far as intervals go and things like that. The ability to play both major and minor chords and diminished chords and all those types of things, which you don't need to know anything about right now, uh, but we'll get into in a future video. So the major so- choices that you have in front of you for that are um, the C6 tuning, and, and they have very variations on that. There's A6 tuning, there's an E13 tuning, there's a B11 tuning, uh, and there's the Alkire tuning, which I play. Um, so I'm going to look at this as sort of a two, two-pronged two approach, because eventually we want to get here on the pedal steel. Uh, we're going to move towards the pedal steel. So the great thing about the Alkire tuning which I teach here and I'm going to be providing more lessons is that it's a great way to transform into the E ninth neck of the pedal steel because the necks are set up very similarly. They're both set up on an E chord and the kinds of things that you find on the pedal steel, you can then translate that back to the lap steel. So it's a good combination. If you ever play E ninth, you can go back to the lap steel on the higher tuning. The other tuning is the C six tuning. Uh, and the C6 tuning eventually gets you to the C6 tuning on the pedal steel. So we're going to be approaching that as well, because that's a very simple, easy to get 
get started with tuning, and it's a nice chordal tuning. I'll explain all those terms down the road. So the second thing you need to ask yourself is the tuning. And I'm going to suggest that we sort of work on uh, two paths, which is both the Alkyre tuning leading to the E9 tuning on the pedal steel and the C6 tuning, which will lead eventually to the C6 neck of the pedal steel. Now let's talk about the third thing that you need to know about. Pedals or no pedals. Are you going to get a pedal steel guitar like I've got here? Uh, so you can... You can do that kind of stuff. Um, or do you just want to start with a lap steel? The easiest and simplest way is to get started on a six-string lap steel. Um, you have to get a cheap amp. A spark amp is goes about $200 or something like that. You can get a very inexpensive six-string lap steel for... Um, it, you know, a couple of hundred dollars, uh, certainly below $500 if you're looking for something uh, to get started with. Um, and eventually working up to pedals. You don't have to get started on pedals right away. So one of the great ways to do is to start simply on a, on a, uh, on a straight steel, lap steel, and work your way up to the pedals. So um, we're going to be doing both. And I'm a very new pedal steel player. I've been playing steel guitar for a long time, but I've only been playing this pedal steel now for a couple of months. So now let's talk about the fourth thing. Fourth. Which is um, how many strings. We're going to start sort of on six strings, but the Alkyre tuning, which I play, is uh, usually a ten-string tuning, but it can be an eight-string tuning. It can be a six-string tuning, and I've done some tutorials on uh, six-string uh, A harp. And the E6 tuning it can be six, eight, ten, twelve uh, strings as well. So um, I play any. I play mostly twelve-string acoustic uh, lap steel. Uh, electric lap steel, 12 string electric lap steel, or 10 string, but mostly 12 string uh, is what I play. And I'm gonna be showing you why I think that's a great lap steel tuning and why it's a great uh, lead into pedal steel. Uh, so those are the four things, acoustic or electric. We're gonna be going electric here. What tuning? We're gonna be doing the C6 and the Alkyre tuning and leading up to the E9 neck of the pedal steel and the C6 neck of the pedal steel. Pedals or no pedals, we're gonna be doing both. So you can do either one. How many strings? We're going to show you some stuff on 6-string, 8-string, 10-string, 12-string, and then double 12, double 10 pedal steel. Okay, that's what we're going to do over the next uh, few lessons. And thanks so much for subscribing. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, click the little button. Uh, alarm button and that'll notify you if there's a new video uh been very encouraged by all the new subscribers and the interest in this channel and i think it has its its place um focusing on the specific needs of the retired person um and not the professional musician and there's a different there's a different way of teaching okay let's talk to you i'll see you on the next video thanks mm -hmm.